Hey, it's me, Ellie, from Magic Beans Videos. Nice to see you again. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you may know, because I say it a lot, that I've had lots of strollers for my three children. But I've never told the community about how that story began. But I did do a keynote recently at our Drool Baby Expo virtual event. And this story went over so well at our virtual event that even though you may have missed it, I wanted to bring it to our YouTube community so you could learn from this, find value from this, so you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Please enjoy. Today, I want to tell you a story about how I went from being a clueless dad to a stroller aficionado. I'm also going to tell you how I filled my living room full of strollers in the first year of my child's life. Picture it, a living room, a couch, a coffee table, and a stroller parking lot. It was crazy. And every time we got a new stroller, we thought, this is the one. Now quickly, before I go any further, let me ask you, and you could put your answer in the chat, how many strollers do you think I ended up with by the time my first child was one years old? Put it in the chat and pay attention to the story because, spoiler alert, there was a lot. Sherry and I got married when I was 22 years old. And by the time I was 23, we were expecting our first child. And I remember so vividly visiting our friends, Claudia and Susan, days after they had their first son, Caleb. And being there in the nursery while Susan, Susan was putting together her stroller for her son and telling us how they went to Babies R Us. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I'm going to be a dad in a couple of months and I don't know anything about this baby stuff and frankly, I'm not that interested. But by the next weekend, Sherry and I found ourselves at Babies R Us. And there we were in this big box store with bright lights and linoleum floor and wall-to-wall -wall strollers. And the strollers are big and plastic and none of them seemed to be particularly good quality and for sure we didn't get exceptional service. But we ended up buying a Graco Metrolite stroller with a really cute French bear. And we thought, we found it, this is the one, we have our stroller. So we got our French bear stroller and, by, and driving home, and I remember this also really, really clearly, I said to Sherry, it's really interesting. We were at Babies R Us and none of the strollers seemed to be particularly good quality. And she said to me, you know something, Ellie, out there, there's a stroller called a McLaren and it's $200, can you imagine? Well, anyway, on April 27, 2002, we had our first child. And I remember, this is before the big modern baby gear boom, before Miranda had her bugaboo on Sex in the City. And pretty shor shortly after that, Sherry found herself walking around with her new bombs group on Jamaica Pond. Now, Jamaica Pond is here in Boston. It is absolutely gorgeous, but it does not have very well-paved roads. And Sherry found with her Graco stroller with the plastic wheels that it really couldn't handle the terrain. So what do we need? We needed a running stroller. And so my father is a serious runner and he was very happy to buy a running stroller for us. So the Graco stroller into the living room and here we had it. This is the one we have our running stroller. But then Sherry tried to take that stroller and put it and fold it into the car. And it was quite heavy. So we needed something lightweight. So we ended up getting a snap and go. It had a big basket, it could take around our infant car seat. And though we used our running stroller from time to time into the living room and we pushed around Audrey in the snap-and-go. But my mother-in-law discovered that, what are you doing? You're pushing my first grandchild around in a snap-and-go? No, 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 no. You need a proper pram, something with big wheels that is appropriate for a new baby. So she bought us a blue Inglesina pram with big all-terrain wheels that didn't swivel. And Sherry would walk around Brookline with the Inglesina pram with her little baby, which lay flat but didn't swivel. So when she went through the aisles of stores, it did not maneuver particularly well. And as Audrey got bigger, it didn't actually sit up. So we needed another stroller. So the Inglesina pram into the living room and we ended up buying a combi stroller. Now the combi stroller was just a little bit nicer than the Graco stroller that we started with. But nevertheless, a couple weeks later, we were invited to a wedding in California. And we took the combi on the airplane and guess what? The airplane proceeded to break the combi stroller. So there we are in Los Angeles with no stroller and a tiny little baby. So my mother-in-law and Sherry go off to a baby boutique in Los Angeles to find a new stroller for us to use for the weekend. And I had no interest in going along, so I stayed back in the hotel. The funny thing is today, anywhere we go in the world, the first place I wanna go is the local baby boutique and check out the stroller selection. But anyway, we're there in California. We end up with a Martinelli stroller. And we bring that back to Boston after our trip to California. 
But again, this is like a 23 pound stroller. And now we need something that's really, really lightweight. So the Mark Nelly stroller into the living room. And Sherry brings me a paper catalog. Remember what a paper catalog is? It's kind of like an analog website. And she shows me a RID Kiko stroller that was $79. And I thought, hey, lightweight, $79, not too bad a price. Let's get it. So we order the Kiko stroller. And within a couple of steps, we're kicking the wheels. This is not going to work. So the Kiko stroller into the living room, and you know what we ended up buying? A $200 McLaren stroller. Have you counted how many strollers we ended up with? We ended up with eight strollers by the time our child was one years old. And a couple months later, guess what? We're expecting our second child, and what do we need? We need a double stroller. But this time we're gonna do it right. So Sherry is doing research, and she finds online a mountain buggy double stroller, and she has her heart set on this one but they didn't sell it anywhere in Boston. But on a trip to Chicago, we stumbled upon this amazing store. It's called Galt Baby. And in the window was a mountain buggy double stroller. And this was a fantastic store. It was a combination baby store and toy store. So while we were researching baby gear, our child could play with the toys. We're thinking a pretty brilliant concept. Someone should create this type of store in Boston. And a couple months later, when our local toy store closed, Sherry, with her branding experience and her entrepreneurial spirit, convinced me to quit my job and we started Magic Beans, a combination baby gear and toy store. But the most important thing is we were gonna help parents not make the same mistakes that we made. So in July of 2004, Magic Beans opened and parents would come in and see me, say, hey Ellie, I'm looking at such and such a stroller. And I'd say, well, the stroller that you're looking at has plastic wheels. You know, in Boston, we have eroded sidewalks and snow. What I think you need is an all-terrain stroller. Then they'd come and say, hey, Ellie, I'm thinking about traveling. I need a lightweight stroller. And I'd say to them, be sure you don't kick the wheels. Hey, and take a stroller test drive and make sure it works right for you. And when you fly with the stroller, just know that the airplane can sometimes break your stroller. I was drawing on my experience as a parent making all of these stroller mistakes and helping parents figure out what they really need by asking them the right questions. That's what we did back in 2004. And when you come to a Magic Bean store today, our staff is going to help you figure out exactly what you need for your baby and you are going to leave no longer overwhelmed and it is a really fantastic experience.